Okay then my friends, now so far when we've been creating TypeScript, we've done it in one TypeScript file right here called Sandbox, and when we compile it to JavaScript, we get one output file. Now that's fine for our case in learning, but when you're creating a project that's a bit more complex, you might have several TypeScript files, several JavaScript files, other files as well, and typically you don't always want them mixed together. You might want to separate them into different folders, maybe a folder for all of our source files where we write our TypeScript, and a folder for all of the files that we're then going to deploy at the end to some kind of web server, so they're not mixed together. So typically, you'll see something like this in a project structure. We'd maybe have a folder called public, which is where all of the final public files will go, which we deploy to the internet to some kind of web server at the end. And that would be things like this index file, the final JavaScript, the compiled JavaScript, and maybe the CSS as well. And we'd also have another folder called source, and that would be where all of our source code goes, like the TypeScript files, the stuff we don't need to deploy to a web server at the end. So this is a more typical workflow, and now we're keeping all of these public files separate from our source files, and it's just easier to maintain that way. The trouble is now, if we try to compile this by saying TSC, and then it's inside the source folder forward slash sandbox.ts, now it's going to compile that and place it inside the source folder as well. So then we'd have to move it inside to the public and we don't always want to do that. So there is an easier way to manage this in a project structure. And that is to use a command down here to say TSC, then double dash init. And this is gonna initialize this config file for us. So if we go inside here, this is all of our TypeScript compiling configuration options. And there's a lot of different things like the target. This is going to be the output of the JavaScript right here. Right now we're saying we want the output to be Etmascript specification 5, but it could be ES6 if you wanted it to be. Um, then we have this one, the module using CommonJS. We'll come to that later. Loads of other things as well. The one I'm concerned about at the minute is this root directory right here. So I'm going to uncomment that and this should be forward slash source so we're saying all of our root directory files are going to be inside this source folder and then the out directory is going to be inside the public folder so this should be where everything inside this root directory is compiled to and placed right so that's all there is to it i'm going to save that now i don't need to say TSC and then go into the source folder and then say sandbox. Now I've already said that these things inside source should be compiled into the stuff inside public. So now if I say TSC and that's it, it's going to look inside this file right here, compile it down and put it out into the public folder right here. So if I say now uh, console.log test and save it. Now, if I run TSC, and by the way, we can add on the watch flag right here if we wanted to, and it's gonna watch all of the files, not just one of them this time, all of them, and whenever we save it, it's gonna compile them automatically. So if I go to sandbox, now we can see console.log test, okay? Now, if I create another file in here, which I'm gonna call test.ts, and inside here, I'll say console.log, and testing one, two, three. And if I save this now, again, it's gonna compile this down for me because anything inside the source file now is gonna end up inside the public folder. And we have this test.javascript file now as well. Now this is good, but the trouble is if we ever create a TypeScript file somewhere else, so let me say app.ts right here, this is outside of the source folder. And without me even creating any code inside it, it's automatically looked at this and compiled it down into an app.js file. But I don't want anything outside of the source folder to be inside this public folder right here. Now, I thought we added this to say, okay, only look inside the source folder, but no, that's not the case. We're saying this should be anything inside the source folder should be in the root directory compiled to the public. So it doesn't then create a folder in here called source and then inside there sandbox.js. It looks what's inside here and just places them directly inside the public folder. So that's why we say that. But to eliminate this kind of behavior where it compiles all of this stuff as well, we need to 
go down here and add something onto the end. And that is going to be an include property. And right here, this is going to be an array. And by the way, this needs to be in quotes like that, double quotes as well. And inside here, we're going to say in double quotes in an array that only include files inside the source folder. So now it's going to look at this and say, OK, I'm only going to compile things inside the source folder, not anything else. So now if I delete this and I'm going to delete it from over here as well, and I'm going to save this now. Now, if I come outside here and create a new file called app.ts, now it doesn't compile that down into an app.js file inside the public folder. And likewise, if I add something in here, console.log hello and save it, it's not going to compile this down automatically, but it still will compile things down here automatically. When we edit them and save, we can see now over here in sandbox, this is now Mario and we'll do the same for test. So testing one, two, three, four this time, save it and go to test.js and now this is updated as well. So this is a much better workflow for slightly more complex projects. Now there are many other options inside this config file right here, but I'm not going to go through all of those options right now. I will leave a link though to the documentation about them below and you can read about them. But now at least we have our config file set up and we can just run TSC down here. If I open up the terminal, what we do now is just run TSC and then space hyphen watch. And that is going to watch all of our TypeScript files inside the source folder and compile them automatically whenever we save them.